Are you happy right now? Yes, always. Always, it's, always. It's my secret. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even so, during COVID, always yeah. I'm always happy. Mm. And as long as uh, well, I didn't lose anyone. I didn't yeah. um, mourn or grieve on um, someone very, very close. No, nothing like that. So mm. I'm happy. I guess that would um, somehow um, shake me off my balance if something like that happened. But mm. yeah, in general, I'm always happy. Even the failing businesses, even debts, trying to get back is hard. But yeah, always happy. So to be always happy, I, I'm like, I know it's not always like crazy happy. Like you have like yeah. your lows and highs in that, of course. But I imagine you need to have a certain thought process with that, right? Or like, you do you focus on a certain thing that you know, like, oh, yes, this happened and it's unfortunate. But look, I'm still happy because da da da. Is like, is there something that keeps you in that mentality? Hmm. Uh, I, I would say being having a deeper process of of a situation or a concern makes you understand why it happened. And then you sort of become happy when you understand it. Mm-hmm. Like people are, let's see, scared or scared or unhappy on things that they don't understand. So for me, even let's say this person gets mad at me. If your thought process is you try to understand why this person is like this, what's his history, um, what's his circle, then then you understand. Okay, he did this because of um, because of this history. And when you understand it, when you understand something, then you become happy, content, content with what you what you want to feel. And mm-hmm. what you want to achieve, short term, long term, you didn't achieve it fully, but you try to be contented because you understand why. And then the mm-hmm. next time you do things, then you have a past learning yeah. because you were contented with something. Yeah.